Hi beautiful people, welcome to day 9 of our 12 days of Christmas makeup challenge. So for today's makeup look, we are going to be doing the cold girl makeup look. Now this, this look has been viral on TikTok, on YouTube, everywhere you turn during Christmas time, there's a cold girl makeup look. Now what I'm applying right now guys is the makeup primer and that is the makeup revolution Paul Blur primer. And it's a, it's a blurring primer, very good for filling in your pores and giving the illusion of a poreless skin. And then now what we're doing is that we are going in with a black uh, eyeshadow pencil. For this look, I've decided to use a black pencil, eyebrow pencil, because I feel like it will give a better look than that dark brown one. Um, and then now what I'm doing is that I'm applying the Rimmel eyebrow gel, wonderful brow gel. It's a clear gel, so I'm just applying it on top of that. And then I'm going to use this Illegal Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn to define my brows and clearly to also shape them further because they are not shaped well. So I'm just applying them using a brush. I know it's giving 2016 eyebrows, but trust the process. <laughs> because at this point, you know, I have minimal brows, so I just purely rely on drawing them. And that is exactly how I'm doing them like back in the day. And then we are going to take another brush and we're just going to like uh, blend that concealer out. Blend, blend, blend until we feel satisfied that it's blended into our skin tone. We don't want to look like we have artificial brows on. So that is why I'm blending and blending and blending. Then I'm just going to brush it a little bit further after blending it and then now time for eyeshadow and so what we are doing is creating an eyeshadow base now for the cold girl makeup you don't really need uh, colors lots of colors on your eyes or on your lips it's supposed to look a bit natural so I've just used the same concealer all over my eyelids to act as an eyeshadow base and then now I'm color correcting my face I'm just uh, trying to hide any dark spots that are on my face and any dark shadows like around my mouth. So I'm dabbing in with a beauty blender and I'm using the illegal orange color corrector for this step. Dab, dab, dab. Make sure that it is evenly blended and disappears into your skin tone. And then after that, I'll be mixing these two foundations, which is the next Total Control Foundation. And I will also be mixing it with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And uh, the L'Oreal is the shade 9N. And we are going to blend that, apply it, and then blend, blend, blend. Again with a beauty blender, a damp one, not a dry one. Make sure that you dip your beauty blender in water, squeeze out all the water, and then use a damp one. And then now what we are doing is that we are doing the high, the highlight and the brightening of our face. And mostly we are brightening our under eyes and around our mouth and on our forehead. And I'm using the, the Maybe, Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade Cafe, which is number 50. And I normally do use two tools for this step. I know for most cold girl makeup looks, they do not use this ma amount of concealer, but uh, because of my skin tone, uh, I feel like uh, it would look better <laughs> if, if my under eyes are really, really bright. Otherwise, everything would just disappear into the, you know, into the background of my skin. And then now I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, Rimmel kind and free concealer that's the shade tan and i'm going to just make sure that my eyes are really really brighter and i'll also contour my nose
For setting powder, I'm using the Black Opal setting powder to set my concealer. Any area that I've applied concealer, I'll be using this setting powder to set it. Uh, because concealer tends to gather in the creases of your skin. So it's best to set it. So I'll set any area that I've applied concealer. So for eyeshadow, I'm just going to take this brown eyeshadow. It's just a light brown eyeshadow. And I'll apply it all over my face. As I said, this look does not require multiple colors of eyeshadow. Uh, so we, we just want to make it look like our skin. And I'll also remove that powder, the setting powder that I have applied. And then I'll go in with this kind of lighter shade of brown. It's like cream. And I'll just apply it in the inner corner of my eye only, above and below. So you, if for this cold girl look, you want to apply it both sides, above and below. The inner corner, yes, but above and below. And then I'm, a lot of blush goes into this look. So I'll be using this She Glam Blush in the shade Love Cake. And I will apply it in a W shape, which is that shape that you're seeing. All the way up to my eyebrows and some people even apply it above their eyebrows we're going to take this very very shimmery shade and apply it where we applied that cream eyeshadow which is in the inner corner of our eyes, on the upper lid and on the lower lid also. Make sure you apply lots of it on the lower lid. And also we'll apply it all the way across our lower lid. Yeah, just to create like a shine effect. I'll only be using a dark brown lip liner so I'll line my lips and I'll line them through and through meaning that I will apply the lip liner all over my lips and then I'll go in with this Maybelline Sensational Lipstick and just apply it at the center only that red lipstick only at the center and then top it up with lip gloss as you can see it almost looks natural so i'm just going to apply some setting powder to the rest of my face make sure that my face is dry and then i'll be using this nyx uh, liquid eyeshadows as highlighter on my nose and then they dry down really really fast so you have to blend it out really really fast and i like blending it out with my finger just to create like a natural effect and then I believe we are done. We're going to put on our wig and our warm winter clothing. And that's it. That is the cold girl makeup.